I've been collecting shopping lists for, for, for many, many years. Um, and I, I just had, had a collection of maybe 300 or so shopping okay. lists. Um, and one day it kind of, it, it, I decided, I guess, they were, they were less shopping lists and more recipes. Um, so I started to kind of, started to make some of the recipes. Perhaps um, the more interesting question then is, what's the obsession about shopping lists? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with people, with things that people leave behind that kind of give bits of information about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of shopping lists were, were a kind of something that attracted me like a, like a crow. And um, yeah, it's the, the kind of handwritten lists and the notes that people leave. And, um, it's just kind of the, the wonder of who they are, who they belong to, I guess, is the interesting bit. Yeah, you find them in, in mm. baskets and trolleys, don't you? Let's, uh, let's take a look at one of the pictures because it's probably the best way to describe kind of what it's all about. Here, yeah. here we go. So this one is a 9-volt burger. Um, we can see the shopping list on one side and then clearly the burger with, with the batteries. It is kind of as simple as that in a way, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. It's, um, it's a, a kind of a literal take. I mean, the, the, the idea of, the, of, um, of ingredients being on, on, on the shopping list, um, you then have to substitute what ingredients, like a battery, for instance, is the replacement of meat. Um, so you're kind of, you, you start to see things very differently. Yeah. Um, and yes, things like batteries kind of turn into turn different things. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a very a different way of looking at things. I see things very differently now when I see shopping lists. I see I see ingredients as very different different things. Yeah. Do you do you kind of also have to go to the? I mean, food photography isn't easy. Mm. Do you have to go to the extremes of trying to make the food look edible to some extent as well? Yeah. So the the the, the kind of the brief the uh, my goal at the beginning was to to make food to make the the meals look like meals. Yeah. Uh, and only on a kind of double take would you would you notice that they were kind of things didn't quite seem all as planned. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the get it, getting, it, getting it to look like a normal meal was, was kind of the, the goal, I guess. OK, let's just take yeah. a look at another one. Uh, let's see what the cat food one here. Yeah, this, this is one of my favourite. Um, this, it's, it's, this was kind of the, the planning of the recipes themselves are, are the, uh, I guess, the kind of interesting part where you'll see certain things and you'll, you, you'll kind of imagine a particular meal. Um, but this one, just everything fell into place. Um, everything down from the candle to the... Um, so the cotton wool obviously worked as the as the icing. Um, yeah, it's it's this was yeah definitely one of my favourites. <laughs> and I think we've got time for one more. And uh, let's let's see which one we've got. This one is a particular favourite because you could imagine that being kind of something that you would find an ad fab, wouldn't you? But you you wouldn't really yeah. want to go there. <laughs> no, not all not all salads are healthy. I guess is the, <laughs> yeah. is the message of of this recipe. Um, yeah, this was this is one of the weird weirder ones to photograph. Um, it, yeah, it felt wrong on all levels, but yeah. um, it gets an interesting reaction. It's, um, yeah, n not a meal I'd order off the of, of menu, maybe. Um, so, yeah. so you've created the book. Mm. What's the next stage for you? Um, so the, the book is all made. Um, it's, it's on Kickstarter, so we're kind of looking to, uh, to get pledges um, for people to, to kind of pre-order the book, um, and, and hopefully we can, we can get it made. But it needs, it needs people's backing. It needs pledges. Yeah. Um, and um, and then hopefully we can we can get the first run made. Is it kind of an unusual approach to take the the, the creation side before the actual? You know that you've got the people there who might want to buy it because you've gone to the extent of actually creating what looks like a very beautiful book, mm. uh, but then you've not got the funding to then get it out there to the mass. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a different way of of, of doing it, I guess. Um, but I, I guess it's kind of it's kind of backing your your own idea. It's kind of. Um, uh, you know, had a great response at the beginning, and there are only so many people you can show who you know, mm. and everyone you know is always going to give it the kind of thumbs up. So to kind of put it to the public um, and put it on something as, as public as Kickstarter, um, it's terrifying, but it's been amazing. Had an incredible response. Um, so it's kind of, it's, you know, made me want to do it even more now. Mm. Um, but yeah. Do you have a favourite list? I have a favourite list. Um, this is one of my favourites. Um, this is, um, this is... Yeah, this is an unusual one. So the kitchen roll in, in replace of puff pastry. This actually looked edible. I left this um, in the kitchen for a while, and um, yeah, there were people who were <laughs> people who tried to eat it. I don't think they um, they got very far. But um, yeah, so exchanging kitchen roll for puff pastry was. Um, it's things like this that I now see very differently when I see shopping lists.